Hi everyone, it's Carl's here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to be unpackaging my new shipment from Ipsy in the October. <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say. I want to say October and Ipsy at the same time. Anyways, I'm going to be opening my new shipment, obviously, from Ipsy in the month of October in the Glam Bag Plus. I tell you, got tongue twisted already. I was on a roll, I swear. Anyways, you guys, so if you want to know exactly what goodies are in here and to see this hot mess of a character that I am, then you got to keep on watching. But before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new videos, you get to see this quirkiness and also give my video a thumbs up. Why? Because I truly appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get right into the video and see why am I doing this now and see what's exactly I received swear all right you guys so let's get right to the nitty-gritty and see exactly what goodies we received all right so as i mentioned in this case i got all tongue twisted because you guys already know how i am uh, again this is the october glam bag shipment for 2021 clearly i need to make sure that i emphasize that why because again, if you are a returning subscriber to my channel, you know I always mess up. I'm surprised I didn't say 2019. Let's be real. Anyways, you guys, so let's go ahead and see exactly what we... Dang, this sucker's really... I knew I should have opened this prior, but whatever. All right. Ooh, something in here smells. And maybe it's lotion on my hands, but it feels kind of liquidy. Let's just hope nothing's broken. It's not the worst feeling. Anyways, so dun, dun, dun. all right, this is freaking uh, adorable. All right, let me put this down. <gasps> what? Okay, you guys, I'm loving this bag right here. Let me give you a close up so you can see. I mean, obviously you can see, but come on. All right, you guys, let me put this down and get to the actual stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The small little things make you happy sometimes. And this little bag just made me happy for a brief moment. Anyhow, so we got a card of... You know what? I'm going to be honest. I never read or look at the cards that I get in the Glam Bag Plus. I don't know why. I think it's because there's no information in terms of the products that I receive. So I usually just kind of put those in a recycling bin. Just being honest. All right, you guys. So let's go right into the first product that I received. I have to put this... I just pulled this out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come out? So the first product. Oh, I did choose this, I think, right? All right. So this is from the company. Oh, I swear. I always have a hard time reading the font like this way. Um, but I believe it's Dermalet. Wait. Derma, Dermalet. You know me. Self-esteem and beauty sleep serum. So I'm guessing you just use this at night since it has the word sleep in it. All right. Let's go ahead. And take this out and see exactly what it looks like Ooh! all right so this is actually really pretty i'm not gonna lie this is really nice um let me see exactly that's what happens when you put lotion <laughs> you cannot open anything all right let me see if this has a scent let me see let me see hmm oh it does oh oh uh, this made me gag uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this. I, if I do, I'm going to use very minimal of it. I'm not a person that's like anti-fragrance. I just, I don't like a lot of strong fragrances and when it comes to my skincare. And this one is very potent in terms of fragrance. I don't know how to describe it. It just smells, let me try it one more time. I know I probably should. Oh, it smells like, I shouldn't have done that. All right, let me just go ahead and put this down. Oh. All right, you guys, so let's get right into the other items that I received in the bag of goodies. Oh my God, that stunk. I'm not gonna lie, it really stunk. All right, so the next item that I received is from the company Morad. I actually been getting more and more of products from this company, which perfectly fine for me. Um, so this is a renewal, renewing, excuse me, eye cream. Um, let me take a look and see how this actually looks like. Ooh, this is actually pretty decent in terms of size. So let's take a look and see how it how, how it dispense. Clearly, you got a pumpy, Carlos. All right, so basically it says you can use it in the a.m. and the p.m. From a.m. to p.m. That Christine Milian just popped in my head in the song. Anyway, so gently pat around the eyes, Ariel. All right, let me see. 
Oh, there it goes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes they, they take forever. All right, let me just see how the the texture is in terms of gliding around my eyes. Ooh, okay. So there is a, I put on my lips, there's a very faint scent, not as bad as the first product. Let me, it sunk. Um, but this seems pretty nice. Let's see, it did seep into my skin quite quickly. So that's a good thing. Either I'm just really dehydrated or I just have dry skin. Isn't that the same thing? Anyways, you guys, so it did soak in pretty well. Let's put it that way. So I'll definitely be using this and hopefully it makes me look like I am 24 again. All right, so let's go ahead and get back into the bag of goodies. <laughs> All right, let me just, just take them all out. So we got three items that are left in here. So it looks like we have um, from Real Her. Let me put these down. Uh, from the company Real Her, this is a bronze beauty power wear ombre bronzer. I couldn't get that out. All right, so let's go ahead and take this sucker. Oh, man. All right, let's try the bottom. You know, when it has like that little safety seal, you can't eat. Like sometimes it gets in your way. Anyways, all right. No, I can't get it out. All right, you guys. So let's see, let me see how this looks. Okay, so the, why is everything match, <laughs> matches me right now? I have nothing but pink on. All right, so this is actually really pretty. It's a uh, rose gold. I've been noticing that a lot more companies are using like this color tone, like um, this like metal, mirror metal appearance, but more of the rose gold, which is perfectly fine. All right, so um, taking lotion. Okay, there we go. So that's actually a really pretty shade. Let me go ahead and give you a close up. So that's not bad, actually. And I'm wondering if it's going to look well on my skin tone. Ooh, this is actually really creamy. All right, so let's go ahead and apply this here. Oh, okay, so that does have some decent pigment. I am curious. Let me go ahead and just grab a brush. So I got a MAC 109 brush, and I typically use this particular brush for my bronzers to use as more of a contour. So I don't have anything on my face right now. Dang, there's a lot of kick up. You probably can't see it, but there's quite a bit. Anyways, that's pretty normal. I'm not a product killer, but you get what I'm trying to say. All right, so I still got some on here. Um, I'm just putting a little bit because I don't have anything on my face right now. I don't have any foundation. Yeah. Oh, well. So let's just do this. So I like to actually pat down my bronzer and work it upwards. So let's just see. Actually, it, it looks fair in the pan, but you see right here, there's actually some payoff. So let me go ahead and buff this out, bring this upward. And I like to bring this down a little bit over here and then pull it up into where my ear hits up here in my jawbone area. So now I like to bring it up as I mentioned. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. You know what? Without even makeup or foundation on, looks really nice. And it blended really good. You see that? All right, so now I'm gonna have to do the other side because I'm gonna look kind of funny now. All right, you guys, so real quick, that bronzer, look at this, really nice. And like I mentioned, I don't have any foundation on right now, so it actually blended quite well. So let me give you a close up. You see this? I'll give you the other side. Not bad. All right, so kudos to that brand. Never heard of, well, y'all, yeah, actually I have. Let me take that back. I've received one product, I can't remember, but I do recall his name, Real Her, from um, that brand receiving I can't remember what I received. I just know I received it. Let's put it that way. Anyways, you guys, so the next product that I received is from Cake Lash, I think it's called, or is it Rion? Rion. I I don't know. Let me take a look and see if it's on the back. Um, it just says Cake Mascara, but it doesn't, you know what? When in doubt, I bet you it's probably, this is the name of the brand. So Rowan. Okay, so the shade, obviously, is black. It is what it is. You know, you we always get the standard black um, shade colors when it comes to mascaras, but not all mascaras perform the same. So let's go ahead and, oh, what is up with the packaging today? Isn't this beautiful? This is like, I don't, it comes off like a grayish blue, like metallic container. This is gorgeous, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's slick. All right, normally I don't test out the mascaras, especially when I have something I need to use up, but this, the packaging is calling my name. All right, so let's go ahead and take it out. Let's see how the wand looks. 
All right, so the wand is pretty standard and nothing fancy. You see that? All right, let's just take a look and see how well this applies to my uh, lashes and see if it does anything. All right, did I wipe off too much of the product because I'm not getting anything? Or maybe I am and I'm just not realizing it. Let's see. Okay, let me just buff this out because honestly, I don't feel like I'm getting anything. Hmm, but no. Look, there is product on there. It just feels like there's nothing going on. Okay, let me do the waterline area over here, those lashes, because maybe that is the way the formula performs. Huh. All right, let's keep doing this a little bit more. No, that's the way it applies. Okay, do you know what I mean? Like sometimes when you apply a mascara, maybe I'm just overanalyzing this, but sometimes when you apply, uh, play, when you apply a mascara, it does come off a little clunky. And I honestly thought that this was going to do that just based on the wand itself. And sometimes you kind of have to go over it a few times to get out those little clumps, but I'm not getting that. Look, you see, I'm, I'm still going over. Now, this looks like it's buildable. Okay, I've never heard of this brand before. Look at that. This side with, and this side without. Oh, I'm glad that I test this out. I really like this. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna look kind of funny not <laughs> having one eye uh, one eye done and not the other. All right. So the next product that I received is from okay. How do you pronounce them? Ilamesqua. Oh, bless you. Um, so this is a Beyond Liquid Highlighter. Wow, that still amazes me, right? All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and take this out and see what this looks like. Hmm. All right. Okay. I do like the packaging. It's really unique. So the shade name, is there one? It's called OMG. Um, yeah, just OMG Beyond Liquid. Let me show you guys so you know what I'm talking about. You may not be able to see it. All right. So let's go ahead and try this. Oh, okay. I do like the applicator. You see that? Interesting. Now, I'm not sure how... I could tell a little goes a long way. Seriously. Look. You see this? Okay, let me apply it with my finger and then I'm gonna get a, uh, a brush because this looks like it's going to be very pigmented. Oh, look at that. All right, let's get a brush here. Okay, bear with me, you guys, bear with me. All right, you guys, so I got my brush right here. I got this in the Ipsy box a few months back. So let me just go ahead and just dab it around and bring it up here. I'm curious. Now, of course, I normally would not apply this product right on top of a dry product because it really would break it down really badly, meaning the bronzer that I just used. But obviously, for review and testing purposes, that's the reason why we're doing this. Um, okay. I am not angry or mad with this. You see this right here? Wow. A little bit goes a long way, too. All right, let me go ahead and finish the other side as well. Hmm. All right, you guys, so I went off camera just to, you know, finish the other side, and I went ahead and just applied the other mascara on the other side, because I really want to see, maybe it was just a fluke when I put it on this side, maybe it was just the way I was applying it, but no, same outcome, meaning I didn't have any of that clumpiness, it just looks completely natural. Hey, not a bad thing, right? All right, so you guys, I have to definitely look into this a little further in terms of this mascara because I need to put this on one of my refill lists because it's really, really good. And this bronzer, as you can see, it blended really nicely, especially with not having any foundation on. Ha, not bad. Anyways, you guys, leave a comment below. Give me your thoughts and opinions in terms of the products that I received. My personal opinion in terms of the package that I received from Ipsy in the Glam Bag Plus, it was a hit for me. Like not one single product, I take that back. This one smells horrible, like complete rancid. Maybe it performs amazingly, but I think I'll just use very minimal so it doesn't irritate my my senses. Anyways, you guys, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions, especially this little quick little look that I created with you guys so in terms of the products that I received. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new videos, you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up. Why? Because I truly do appreciate that. But until then, make sure you all brush your teeth 
watch your kulo and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye now.